Today we are going to talk about small parts which are rusted and you might think that they are not necessary. And I'm going to show you some of them. If you come and have a close look, I will tell you. For example, what, do, what is this? This is the clip for the dynamo. Let's go to, get on the uh, bar and then there is a screw here and then you get the dynamo fix here. It looks rusted, but it's difficult to find. This is one of them, for example. I found a box and this material is in there. This is the cup or the pedals. They are, they are dropped and it's very difficult to find. That's another thing. Let's have a look what they have what else we got. This is for the brakes, rear brakes of the iron, iron brake bicycles. There's a part where it fixes and then from there you pull the rear brakes towards front and then you get the bicycle stop. What about this one? This is another clip and there through there a wire passes through. It's rusted but the rust can be, you know, the problem can be solved. What is this? This is for the brakes pads. This is another part. What else have you got? This is for the iron brakes. Generally speaking, these are for the front ones. You see? They are good pieces. These are for the rear ones. You see? That's another one. This is a clip for the wires. You clip it and the wires pass through that. What are these ones? That's for the brakes. That's another one where you fix it in the iron handle and then through here a metal bar passes through and then it moves like then the bicycle stops. What else is this? This is another clip. This is another brake pad. Sorry, another brake. This is another clip. Maybe it's for the chain guard. What else have we got? For example, this is for the iron bar brakes, you see, special parts. This is for the gear set, as you can see. This is for the brakes as well, special parts. Another one for the brakes. You see, that one is for the brakes. Brakes, that one for the brakes. This is for another part for the brakes. What else have we got? This is for the mud guards, you see? Where you fix the okay, mud guard, you just clip it like that. From there, you fix the mud guard. This is another part. This is another for brakes. You see, this is another for the clip. This is for the brake parts. These are metal parts for the brakes. Another clip. This is another part for the rear red light. What else have we got? Hmm. We've got another part for the brakes. For the brakes. For the brakes. For the brakes. Brakes. This is for the brakes as well. You don't throw this away because it's very difficult to find. This is another stuff for the brakes, another clip. This is for the brake, a different one, like this. What is that? This is for the brakes as well, the spring. What else have we got? This is for the pedals, you see? These are for the pedals. You can just hammer them in and then you screw it and then you have pedal set. This is another one. This is another one, you see? This is a relatively new one. Another brake apparatus. This is another one. You see, this is another clip. This is a clip for the chain guard. It's very difficult to find that one. This is another cup for the pedals. What else have we got? Another for brakes, for brakes. Another clip, another for, part for brakes, for brakes, for brakes, 
You see, I keep all these. I don't throw them away because you might need them. That's how it works. Little screw, little nut might come, end up using it. Another one. Very difficult to find. Another one, for example. This is another one. You see? This is what it is. That's another one. That's for the uh, for the set. This is, this is very useful because it has a special parts there. Another one. You see, all these parts have importance. I'm almost finished this. That, that's another one for the brakes. You see, I keep them. Sometimes they get rusted and you have to put them in solution to get rid of the rust. So these are very important parts. For example, these ones for the brakes as well, special nuts. That, for example, this is for the brakes. Sorry, this is for the bell. Special part, special nut. Very difficult to find. When you once you lose it, this is for the brakes it as well. It sits on the handlebar like that, and then you put the other part, this part like that, in the, in the set. You know, once you keep them, when you need them, you find them. So these are the parts. What else have we got here? Yeah, that's another one. These are another for the metal, for the pedals. And then what the hell have we got? What else have we got? And also we have got something interesting. A friend of mine the other day brought me this. This is a brand new set. He said I don't need them and brought it to me. You see? This is a shifter for the front crank to left or right you move it I think it's like that or it's like this and then it moves to the left and right and then it's a shifter interesting part let's have a look what else we got this is the rear the rear set oh that's a good one that's a good one rear set these are oh my god look at all those stuff in a little one that's another one Mm, that's another one. Very yeah, generous of him. That's another one. So it's accumulating. This is the gear. This is the set where you change the gear from here. You see? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, a lot of them. Six, seven. These are all gear set. Brand new. Not used. This is another one. You see? All these parts, you keep them. You don't throw them away. Why? One day it might be useful. That's how it works. If you have a bicycle part, which might be rusted, still you have this, this is for the reflector. You have this, you should have this idea that even in a small nut, you should keep it. This is for the tires, you see. It's all small parts so that's how it works you have to keep your parts for example this is for the this, this is a special nut what is that for this is where the the handlebar there's a long bar that comes and screws here and it goes up this is, goes up and it gets tightened within the bar so that the Handlebar doesn't move. This is a special, special nut. You shouldn't be throwing away. Oops. What is that? That's for the... What is that for? That's for the handlebars. Where you wrap the bunt and then you fix it with that. This is for chain. It's a part. Might be useful. What else have we got here? This is for the... Oh, that looks very strange, but this is for the gear set, you see, special, this is very special, once you lose it, you cannot find the other one, the others, this is for example, for the pedals, once you lose them, it's very difficult to find, so you should keep all the parts intact, 
shouldn't be thrown away. For, what is that? That's for the um, tire. You put a little plastic here, and as you give tire that goes up, and then you give tire, and as you give it up, the tire stays like that. It's something like this. See? It's like that. What's that? And look at it. There are special. This is special nuts. This is for the um, rear set or the bicycle where the balls, metal balls, sit. That's very important as well. Very difficult to find sometimes. You see, all these parts should be kept. Why? Because you might end up using it. Well, look at that. This is a small shoe small stuff but it can be useful you look at it and then you find it and you shouldn't be throwing them away that you shouldn't be saying no these are not useful throw them away one day it comes where you use them especially for the old bicycles and all these stuff parts every one of them is used for the bicycles so Today, what I'm trying to show it to you, any part that you have, don't throw them away. Keep them somewhere, little box. And one day it might be useful. It might not be today, but tomorrow it might be useful. So this is how we keep every small part so that we use them for the vintage bicycles. Again, I want to remind you that the book is ready. It's published already and it will be signed on 17th of May in Nicosia at 7 o'clock in the inner city wall. There will be a signing of the book, exhibition of the bicycles and also uh, exhibition of the photographs of the bicycles. It will be very interesting. We expect to see you there, if you can manage to come. Of course, if you are in Cyprus, it's easier for you. We will expect you to come and see this exhibition. It will be unique uh, for the Cyprus. It will be the first exhibition of its kind. And I hope everyone enjoys when they come. Thank you very much. Have a good day.